Um, so uh, thanks for being a part of the Valley Advocate Sessions mm -hmm. today. Um, really a pleasure to have you guys. Thanks for having um, us. Yeah, um, so first off, could you introduce yourselves? You, you want to start that way? Or yeah, let's start that way. My name's Ethan, I play the piano. My name's Charlie, I play the guitar. I'm Gabe, I play guitar and sing. I'm Chris Raphael O'Reilly and I play the drums. I'm Isaac, I play bass and sing. Now, uh, you mentioned um, you're going to be releasing an album uh, coming up. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, we've been working on it for like a while now. Like uh, the single that we have released is is actually from what, like 2016 in the springtime? Yeah. yeah. And uh, so that one we just did at home in the living room and we decided to come into the studio. We worked with Mark Allen Miller and uh, in Stone Lab over in East Hampton, and then uh, we went over to Spirit House with Danny Bernini, and then back to Stone Lab. So like we've kind of been all around, and uh, we just have a couple more songs to finish up, and then it should be out. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. What what have you guys recorded so far? Is uh, in terms of this, was there anything you played today? Uh, yeah, I think it was everything except for one song. Yeah, everything for last time. Oh yeah. Yeah, and last time could be on the album, we'll see. Yeah. That was the second song? Yeah. I think uh, I interviewed uh, both Chris and uh, yourself, Gabe, yeah. uh, back I think probably in June. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, you guys told me a really cool story about how you guys got your name Chord Etiquette. Uh, so for those uh, watching the interview, could you, you guys uh, kind of retell that story? Yeah, we, uh, we went over to, we were in JFK Middle School, I think all of us together. And uh, me and Charlie were in gym class together and it was a tennis unit we would kind of not take it too seriously and like hit balls as far as we can maybe over the building and stuff so uh, we would kind of get yelled maybe. at for having bad court etiquette sometimes so then he said uh, yeah that'd be a cool band name so we agreed yeah it was cool we were looking for one at the time and it worked out there you go mm -hmm. um, so how would you guys uh, kind of describe your influences does it vary from band member to band member um, could you guys talk about that? Yeah, for sure. Isaac, what do you like? Um, I, I like a lot of indie rock. I like real estate. I also really like Wilco. I think we all really like Wilco. Yeah. And uh, I also really like 60s rock, like The Kinks and The Doors. And, uh, Chris. Uh, I think each band member brought a new style of music to the band. And then we each like listen to that style and we all like adapted that to our music, which was cool. Yeah. Um, and now we pretty much listen to all the same music because, I don't know, we're playing a band together and we're interested in the same things now. Are you, are you guys pretty much friends outside of like the band? Pretty much. Them? Yeah, pretty much. Cool. We don't find ourselves hanging out with many other people. But. <laughs> oh, such as it, as it goes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you guys have any other plans on the horizon? To play any shows maybe uh, in October, uh, November? Uh, not so much. Uh, something might pop up, but as of right now, we don't really have anything booked. But, I mean, we're always looking for opportunities to play play out anywhere. Okay. And um, one thing, uh, I, I interview guys, interviewed you two guys before uh, Green River Fest. Mm -hmm. Now that you've, that you've actually done that gig, what, how did you guys like it? It was awesome. Like... Um, it was crazy. Yeah, we've all always been going since we were little and uh, always loved it. So then just pretty much being able to get like in for free, that was awesome on its own. So like, uh, but even better to get to play it. It's just yeah. like a really, really cool experience. How about the stage dive gig? Yeah, the stage <laughs> dive, I don't know. It kind of worked out. Some might say it did, some say it didn't, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was there, man. That was awesome. I mean, yeah. I, I, I totally did not expect the stage dive. So. Yeah, we, I, I, I've attempted a few stage dives, and I'd say approximately... 50% uh, are successful, you say? More towards, like, 0%, something like that. <laughs> no, you got one. Yeah, maybe, maybe one. one. Yeah. It sort of worked, you know I mean? Yeah. It worked for, like, a second, then, uh, didn't, then it did again. On yeah. the second attempt, we got him back. Yeah. Just glad I didn't completely eat it. Yeah. Maybe that would have been cool too, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys love about playing together? What's the dynamic between all the different band members? Um, we like arguing a lot, Yeah. Uh, especially <laughs> during practices. For sure. But we always come out in the end with uh, better ideas because we're all uh, collaborating and stuff, but yeah. Yeah. All right, well, uh, thank you so much for the interview, um, at, uh, being on sessions. And mm -hmm. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have another round of applause.